Ladies and gentlemen, who here enjoys picking flowers? Today, we're opening up some Pokemon toys that theme heavily on the flower and floral side of things. I ain't gay, but you gotta get in touch with your feminine energy once in a while. Yeah, I enjoy picking flowers, purchasing insane amounts of cards so I don't kill myself. I need something to fill the gaping void. Finding lots of old and slash or rare wondrous children's playing cards every day keeps me distracted so I don't succumb to the looming hellscape that is my own overactive mind. Rarely I talk to anybody outside my glowing white box in the pits of my dark room, grasping desperately at anything I can attribute to being sane. You can follow me on Tumblr. Is that still a joke? Is that still a thing? Okay, let's uh... Let's open up some cards. Flower power! What you know about flower power? Big Nut, you are excused for this episode. Flower power! Today we're opening up Petite... Petite flower. Petite flower. Fleur. Petite fleur. Some French shit, maybe. Oh, hello, it's me, Uniqua. I'm a friendly flower seller. Would you like to buy a beautiful, fresh flower? I hope those attract bees and you get a bacterial disease and die. Pokemon fragrances by Remint because you're worth it. You ever wanted to smell like the back end of a mill tank after it's been out on the yard all day, sweating its tits off, getting forced to have babies so it can produce milk, take all that stress and cow shit, put it into a bottle, and what do you got? You've got a marketed fragrance. This is so unbelievably cute. So I don't think these are, you know, they're not real fragrances. They are just made to look like, this is so cool. Oh, they have, the lid comes off. Doesn't smell like anything except fresh plastic. Oh, it opens like this. Well, I mean, I guess we have to get the Pikachu out. This Pikachu is really high quality and, oh, it's a female Pikachu, as you can tell by the heart-shaped tail. They couldn't run the risk of putting a gay male Pikachu in their big man Japanese corporate set. All right, there you go. He just, <laughs> that's so cute. Kind of like plug it all back together. Put the top back on. Comes with a sticker to make it official or whatever. I'm going to put mine on the back so we can still see this pretty little face. And, uh, okay, yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. We've got this piece of gum. Every time Remit does a box, they put gum in their box. A single piece, it's all it takes for them to be allowed to put their toys in the candy aisle. All right, let's crack into another one. See who we get up next. Oh, it's only fitting to be pulling an Eevee after the Pikachu. Oh, why does he look so oily? Looks like uh, like a nugget of oily peanut butter. Looks like when you take a shit the next day after eating Mexican. Don't worry, the EV fragrance will cover that right up. What's this supposed to smell like? Fucking wheat? EV and Pikachu. All right. Who do we have up next? Who's next? Oh, ooh, a, a Butterfree. Of course you had to include a Butterfree. It'd almost be criminal not to make the Butterfly Pokemon part of your flower and fragrance themed set. Look at this beautiful little guy. He almost seems like a, a different sort of more light palated Butterfree than usual. But let's just plug him in there and look at that. These are really cool. I like these. I'm sure similar to the terrariums, how people just sort of made a lot of their own and were selling them. These would be a cool one to make. Put some real flowers in there and that, you know, theme it up. All right, real quickly, I'm gonna open up this garbage pack of Japanese Pokemon cards. I think it's just one to the front. When was the last time I've done Japanese normal packs? Fucking five cards in a pack, and I've got nothing good there. On to the next one! On to the next petite fleur! This time, we've got the pink, beautiful, gracious Sylveon. Um, each one of these still is coming with a sticker. This is the strange name of the Japanese Sylveon. And you gotta be really careful because this ring which helps hold the whole thing together, always falls off as soon as you open it, and it's hard to find. So here's our main gal. All of these are very flexible, but quite small figures. A pink ribbon on the top of this one. Let's put it all back together. And voila! A front-facing centerpiece Sylveon. In a circular pink, luxurious, 
bottle of perfume. What do you think uh, Sylveon perfume would smell like? I reckon a flowery, sweet, not too potent, refreshing smell. This one a kind of floral, clean, but gentle smell. This one I think a bit balmy, musky, strong and heady. This one I think New York sewer line, rotting rodent carcass, kind of a stale piss fragrance. All right, let's see. Oh! Ooh, I like this blue one. This one definitely cleans out your nasals when you get a whiff of this. But not too strong, but almost like an ice cold minty taste. But straight into your nasal hole. Maybe kind of what it's like to chew five gum, but if you're shoving the gum up your nose. Uh, there we go, a Lolan Volpix with a bunch of flowers. Like literally every fucking thing else we've opened. Don't forget to put your rubber ring on. How have we pulled no doubles so far? Like seriously. I'm assuming we have one now because, all right, we've got this nice EV again. It's oily peanut butter bastard. Ugh. We should be getting more doubles. There's only six. I'm pretty sure there's only six in this set. And we have got it. Have we just got all of them? Leafia. Is he doing Michael Jackson's Thriller? Poor Leafion, in this one he has to get a prostate exam from a flower. Look at that! It's just gonna sit right on it! Beautiful. I kinda like that one. It looks like, uh, looks a bit like it's been filled up with piss. But it looks like maybe like a vegan's plant-based peach smelling funky piss. Not that shitty asparagus. Musk. Alright, at this point, I'm almost certain I've got them all right. Uh, so we've got a double Pikachu. Probably... A normal person would just leave the boxes or sell the extra boxes or, you know, give them to a friend, but I'm gonna be honest. I need to fill that title out and I can't be lying about how many I'm opening. So, we're just gonna keep opening and we've got another Butterfree. Good to get doubles, it's not great to get triples. So, we've got one more box here. Hopefully, yes! My favorite one, I think, the Leafeon. And that is all she wrote. So now I think I'm gonna open up one of these, and we're gonna flip around, we're gonna give you guys the code, and we're gonna go one, two, three to the front, and we're gonna get rid of the Leafeon energy. Curlia, we've got fucking the Roomba that goes around your house cleaning it up. We've got a Guzma! Yes! Man, I'm being heavy on these Guzmas. That's a free fucking four bucks. We've got Charmander, Meryl with a squashed head, Pan Sage, we've got Esper, Toga Demaru as our reverse, and the very end, folks, a Darkrai holographic. Not complete, complete garbage, but basically complete garbage. One more Burning Shadows for the road, and then I will bid you a fair do. Uh, so we flip it around, there is the code for you guys, one, two, three to the front, and we get rid of the Fairy Energy, and we've got a Heat more. we've got a Tormenting Spray, we've got Lana, uh, we've got Pikachu, we've got Noibat, we've got Dupede, we've got Tangler. Then we have Rhyhorn after that, a Seedra as our reverse, and on the very end, ladies and gentlemen, we've got Noibat! It's interesting. It's been a bit of a Neuven themed week, I think. I hate this fucking bat. I just want to smash its eardrums out. Don't worry, I won't do that to a regular bat. Don't call the RSPCA. No, please, seriously, don't. I have some outstanding charges. All right, guys, I think that is going to do it for this episode. If you would like to buy any of the Max Mofo merch, you can do so by clicking the link at the top of the description. If you would like to support me by watching any more videos, even if you have seen them, you can click on screen right now to watch either of these bad boys. Make sure you press like, make sure you press subscribe, leave a comment or suggestion below. And as always, I post every two days, except when I don't post every two days. So I'll see you in two days. Unless I don't see you in two days.